Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own component cables for the original Xbox. Uh, you may be asking yourself, why would you need to go through all the trouble of making your own component cables for the Xbox when you can just get on eBay or Amazon and buy some for under $10? Well, if you've ever bought in those cables before, you'll know that they're complete crap. Uh, they have tons and tons of interference and they're just a waste of money. So if you don't have the money for the original Xbox component kit, which I think they go for about 30 bucks nowadays, uh, then this is a good alternative. I'd say spend about 15 bucks. All right, so let's get started. Some of the tools you're needing for this mod are a flathead screwdriver, some wire clippers, a small pair of needle nose pliers, or just a regular pair of needle nose pliers will work just fine, I'm sure. You're gonna need a hot glue gun, and of course you're gonna need your solder and soldering iron. And as for the supplies, uh, you're going to need an official Xbox AV cable. You're also gonna wanna get uh, an official Xbox 360 AV cable, the ones that have the component outputs on them. So the HD cable, I guess. Okay, to get started, what you're gonna wanna do is take your Xbox AV cable and you're just gonna wanna clip it off, clip the connector off. Uh, you won't be needing that anymore. Okay, from here, what you're gonna wanna do is remove this piece of plastic comes off easy. You could also cut it off if you wanted, but just as easy to take it off. All you need is your flathead screwdriver. You go ahead and shove it in one side, kind of stretch it out a little bit, and then do the same on the other side. Stretch it out a little bit, and then you should be able to just wiggle it off like so. Okay, and go ahead and set this piece aside. Okay, now you're left with the connector. Now you need to remove all the shielding that's on this. Again, this could just be used with some needle nose pliers. Okay, from here what you're gonna wanna do is desolder uh, three wires. There's this white wire uh, this black wire and this red wire. They're all coming out of the wire you just clipped. So just go ahead and desolder those points really quick. So you're also going to want to remove this ground wire from all these points. So there's a point here point there and another point on the back. The ground wire was the one that came off and you clipped it from the shielding. So go ahead and desolder all those two. Okay, so now all you're left with is this little short wire that goes from pin to pin. What we're going to need to do is change that. So go ahead and unsolder that also. Okay, so after removing this little piece of wire, what you're going to want to do is just put it aside and you're going to want to get another little piece of wire. You can make it about the same length as that one that you just cut off. So that one actually just comes apart really easy. I'm going to go ahead and clip it down. So now you have these two small lengths of wire. We're going to need these two short pins on the connector itself to put the Xbox into component mode. Okay guys, so we're going to need to familiarize ourselves with this diagram. It's not mine, but I have modified it and color coded it for the key points that we're going to need for this mod. So take a moment to look it over, make sure you understand it and get it. Uh, 
First of all, we're gonna wanna start by taking those little wires I was talking about a moment ago, and we're going to wanna take one of them and solder 0.6 to 0.18. Uh, keep in mind that this is some really technical soldering. I would suggest you being kind of okay at soldering, using a fresh tip, and just taking your time. You don't want to use a whole lot of solder for this, uh, so as little as possible. So after you've connected your 6 to 18, you're going to want to take your other little bit of wire and connect 7 to 19. Uh, next, you're going to want to grab your 360 AV cable, and we're just going to start taking apart uh, the connector itself, again using a flathead screwdriver. Okay, once you've halfway disassembled it like so, you can actually clip this ground wire that's connected to the shielding itself, just like on the original Xbox One. Okay, so then after that, you'll have this other board kind of hanging off. Again, you can just clip all these wires as you will not need them. So what you're gonna want to do is clip off all of these wires as well from the connector. So after that, the first wire we are going to be soldering to our connector is going to be our audio right. And these are all color coded, so it makes it really easy. Go ahead and find the red wire with the black line. And there'll be another black wire that kind of consumes it, as you can see. Tip the red wire itself with the black line is going to be your positive and the black wire consuming it is your ground. So get your connector and you're gonna to wanna to solder the red wire to pin one and the ground wire to pin two. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, once you have your audio right in place, let's move on to the audio left. So that wire is going to be your white with a black line through it. And then again, the ground is going to be the, the wire that is consuming it. Okay, so you're going to wanna put the white wire with the black line to pin 14. And then the ground wire is gonna go to pin 15. So go ahead and solder that on now. Okay, so after you have finished soldering up your audio, now let's start working on the video. We're gonna go ahead and start with PR, which is your red input in the RGB. And the red input cable is going to be the pink one. And then again, the ground for red or the pink cable will be the black one that's consuming it. And you're going to need to connect your pink to pin 22 and your ground to pin 21. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so next let's move on to our Y, which is luminous, and that will be your green connector. Uh, the wire for that one, this light green, and the ground is the one black wire that's consuming it. So your light green wire will be connecting to pin 11 and the ground will be connecting to pin 12. So go ahead and prep those and solder those on now. Okay, and last but not least is going to be our PB, which is our blue connector. Uh, our positive for that one is actually going to be our light blue wire and the black one consuming it is our ground. So go ahead and connect the light blue wire to pin 9 
and the ground to pin 10. Okay, so after you're done with that, you're left with this yellow wire. I'm just gonna leave it there. You can chop it off if you want. Uh, now what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and plug it into your Xbox, make sure it works. Uh, before that, you should probably go over your soldering, make sure there's no bridges or anything. So go ahead and plug it in your Xbox and your TV, and you should have a working component cable if you did everything correctly. Okay, so after confirming that it does in fact work correctly, this is where your hot glue comes in handy. Uh, I'm gonna use it to just to just protect all my connections and actually kind of make something to hold on to when you're trying to plug it in. So go ahead and just cover it all in hot glue like I'm going to do right now. Okay, so there you have it basically. Uh, the last thing left to do would be to cut off your yellow input because now you don't need it. Or you could leave it on, it doesn't really matter. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was able to help you. Be sure to leave a like if it did, leave a comment with any questions, and subscribe for more modding videos. You can follow me on Twitter at TechnoOnTop. Also check out my last video if you have ever wanted to add LEDs to your N64 controller. Till next time, peace.